Hello everyone, this is Matt with Amped Outdoors. In this video, we're gonna show you how to properly store your batteries. Now, it could be the time of year where you know, you're gonna be storing your ice fishing batteries for the summer, or it's gonna be in fall and you're looking to store your batteries over the winter, or just be sh little short-term storage such as 30 days. Anytime I say long-term storage, I usually mean like 30 days or longer. And these are some of the tips to properly store your batteries so that way when you come back and use them, they're gonna be working properly as the day they did when you stored them. So number one reason why we typically see battery failure, and that could be lead acid, AGM, or lithium, is due to not storing it properly. The batteries may have a label on them that say maintenance free. Sure, you don't have to fill them, um, but you still do have to properly care for these batteries, uh, especially if they're gonna be sitting an extended period of time. So the first thing I wanna talk about is how to charge that battery. Now, you could research everything you want. A lot of times they say 50%, and that's a great storage capacity to have a battery stored at. So ideally, I would say if you can store that battery between 80 and 40%, uh, that's going to be the best for that battery in the long term when sitting for a period of time. Now, if you don't have Bluetooth built into the battery, I would say on a 12.8 volt, um, probably store that between 13.2 to 13.4 volts. If you have an NMC battery like our 14.8 volt battery here, uh, that one you can store usually between like 14.8 and 15.2 in that type of voltage, you'll have enough capacity in that to store it long term uh, if following the next proper steps. So I always get asked, what temperature should I store these batteries at? Now in the north, we have you know extremely cold winters. I would say ideally, like that 40 to 80% rule, store it at 40 to 80% capacity, 40 to 80 degrees as well, is the most ideal storage temperature for a lithium battery. Now. Uh, you know, in the colder conditions, it doesn't have as much impact on a battery over the long term as like extreme heat in a lithium battery. There's less cell degradation in colder temperatures. So, uh, you know, 40 to 80 degrees is ideal if you have a heated garage or if you can take your batteries out and store them inside. That's just going to prolong the life of that battery, you know, in the long run. So uh, I would definitely recommend doing that if at all possible. Uh, I think the biggest thing when storing a lithium battery is making sure that there's nothing attached to it. So what I mean by that is that there's so much parasitic draw on your modern day fishing electronics, trolling motors, that if you leave a battery stored on your electronics or really anything, there could be a parasitic draw that'll draw that battery down over time. It could be very slow, but give it a matter of you know, multiple days to months, it can make an impact on capacity within that battery. And the worst thing you can do is store a lithium battery for long term at a fully depleted discharge state. So what I'd recommend, like in a case like this, this is an ice shuttle, right? Take the five minutes or less to disconnect your battery. And a little funny and ironic story is that I charged this battery just a couple of days ago for the intent of bringing it to this video and in the process of charging it to bring it to this room, I must have accidentally tapped the on off button on the front of the shuttle that turned it on. Because I do have a screen protector on it, I didn't know that the screen actually turned on. So as you can see here, I accidentally tapped this on off switch, the unit turns on, and when I came back to do this video this morning, battery was dead. So I had to throw it back on charge right away. But I'll tell you this, you know, honest mistake, things like that do happen. Now, if I was gonna store this for the long term in the on position, that battery would have been fully depleted, stored for an extended period of time. And that's where you can typically run into issues. And issues could be, you know, the battery doesn't recover, um, or in a lot of cases, storing fully depleted can reduce the life expectancy of that product, just mean less capacity, and you're not gonna get the 10 plus years that you really want to get out of that battery. And they're all engineered to last that long. So in a case like this, I'm gonna turn this one off. I'm gonna show you how easy it is if you have an ice shuttle, on this one specifically, that's thumb screws right in the front. So you can loosen those. And this takes less than a minute with something like this. I just go in after my battery's at that storage charge rate. Just go in, disconnect it, put it back in. You can put your thumb screws back in again. 
And then, you know, with nothing connected to it, nothing can draw this battery down over time. So the best thing to do is do something like this. Uh, you can check your battery periodically and always say, you know, 30, 60, 90 days. Check it, just, you know, check the voltage on it. If it has Bluetooth, log into it through the Bluetooth app and you can easily see where it's at. Put a charge on it for 10, 15 minutes. That battery is going to be good to go like it was brand new the first day. When you're looking at your boat batteries, you know, a lot of times people want to store these in their boat. Simple little thing, get your tools, five minutes, disconnect all of your, or not all of them, but I'd say at least one of your terminals and all the connections to it. If I don't have anything connected to this battery, it cannot draw it down. So in storage, this battery is going to be good to go for the, you know, the one month, the six months you may have to store it or even longer during the off season. Again, check it periodically. Make sure it does have a charge on it, throw a charge on it if needed. So if you follow these steps, shouldn't have to worry about something drawing your battery down. Your battery should never be fully depleted, you know, during a long extended off season. And, you know, really you go to put that battery back on in spring or fall, whenever it happens to be that you're using it again, charge it up fully. That battery will work as good as the day that you put it in storage. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us, sales at ampedoutdoors.com. Check out our other videos because we've got a lot of good educational content like this. Thank you for watching.